So you may not always want to start with an empty void. You might want to bring some images in for inspiration. We allow you to bring in reference images. So click on the reference image icon and this panel will pop up. You can grab off the panel using the same grab gesture. So intersecting the bar here, grabbing, and now that panel will float in your space. We've populated our reference image folder with images already. You can put JPEGs and PNGs. This folder is located in Gravity Sketch Reference Images. If you're adding images in during a sketch, you just want to refresh the folder to make sure that your images will pop up. Now, to bring images into the scene, use the same grabbing gesture. So you'll intersect the image, grab it, and pull it into your scene. Now, they come in quite small, so we want to use our scaling gesture by grabbing the image and scaling to place the image at a better position at a better scale. You can also duplicate images by grabbing with the dominant hand, pulling the trigger, and you can see that we can even flip the image over so we have the exact mirror of that image. Now, the images are by default anchored to the scene, and you can see that when we highlight the image here. You see a little anchor that will pop up in the corner. This means that as you're scaling the content, the images are anchored just like your UI is to the scene. If you want to unanchor those images, you can grab the image, and as you're holding the image, you'll see that this small anchor icon pops up. By pressing that, the image is now unanchored from the scene. So when we're scaling the scene, the images will also scale with the content. You can hide images if you're in the middle of a session and you just want to hide your inspiration by using the hide toggle. Now the images won't be visible, but you can still manipulate the scene. You can bring them on back by clicking the high to toggle as well.